uh, and how to use uh, Google Keep to pretty much just keep everything, all screenshots, etc., etc., notes, um, so that you can go back and use them whenever you need to. So the reason why I use Google Keep is because, well, number one, it's free. Um, there's other softwares that can do that, something like Trello, or I don't know if you have a Mac. Um, I forgot the name of the program, but there's another nice one that that they use out there. And so, for example, this is how um, my Keep looks like. Let me just show you right now. That's kind of how it looks like. And so this one, this chart here for today is Nasdaq futures contracts. And so I pretty much put the date. I put. Um, NQ futures contracts, whatever. Uh, if it's your dollar or different things, then you can also color code them. As you can see down here, I have different uh, coloring for them. Um, but anyways, so what I do first is I go into uh, the 60 minute, and then I take a screenshot of that. Now I use, I also use Snagit. Um, if you want a free um, screenshot, you know editor whatever you can use a snippet or uh, the scissors tool which is in this called the snipping tool um, I have a, a regular PC window so if you know if you have your Mac then obviously you just take a screenshot and then you can pretty much use paint and add that um, like I said I use a snag editor and so it's just I found it you know it's a lot easier for me to use and then I pretty much always had this to be honest um, it's always been so easy just to use it um, add some notes to it and that's it uh, so number one I always take snapshots of the news days and then obviously I add notes to that in keep I copy it and I paste it onto the Google keep I take a screenshot of the 60 minute and I add my notes in here and you can see here for example I added uh, an order block right here where the market came down in here and it delivered very nicely and then it bounced off from there this is for today and keep in mind today is Monday so I usually don't trade on Mondays unless I have an idea where the market's going but when I do my analysis on Sunday night uh, if I still don't have an idea of where the market can go or do then I usually just wait, especially because there wasn't any news at all today. Uh, I believe the only news that there actually was was for CAD. Um, and I think that was just added recently. I did not see that um, earlier yesterday. So, yeah, the only news, there wasn't any orange or red news for today. And if there aren't any of that, then I just don't do anything. Um, but anyways... So this is what I like to do. I like to take a screenshot. Here's a 60 minute, right? Take a screenshot of that. And then I take a screenshot of the 15 minute as well, right? And then you can see I have some more notes. Uh, now I either added, I had the notes inside using uh, Snagit, <coughs> or I go inside of my platform and I draw in here, you know, what I have to draw, right? So whichever is more easier for you, uh, if you're using TradingView, it's a lot easier to just copy the or create a, a snapshot of that of that image and then just copy it and then paste it onto Keep. And I think that's why I really love Keep so much because you just copy and paste it onto there. Uh, you know, shortcuts uh, just makes things go much faster, right? And yeah, so make sure you add your notes right here. This was obviously the double top that was created during New York session. Uh, you can see it started off. Uh, you know, barely somewhere around before New York session and then before the stock market opened, um, it finally created and then we sold off. We took out uh, London session. So what I'll do is I'll add, I'll annotate that, right? So I took out London session like that. And then that's pretty much it. Once I, once I'm done editing these, what I'll do is I'll go into keep and then like I said I'm gonna copy this whole thing and then copy and paste it into um, into Google keep and then for the next image obviously this is a five minute it's a lot different there's a double top and then obviously there's that and then it, I will write it again so you know whatever it is that I saw here I will do the same thing in the five minute why because this replicates the times that you've seen 
the the thing happen, right? Um, for those of you um, that are not aware, it's kind of interesting how our brain works. Um, I, I don't want to get too much into detail because obviously I'm not a expert on this. I just, I, this is how, um, this is how I learn. Okay. So although I'm not a brain expert or how the brain works or whatever, um, this is how I have found it most useful when it comes to learning, uh, and just implementing new things, right? That you're, that you're learning, especially if you're just starting. And so, you know, this is what I do. Every screenshot, I annotate every single thing, the same thing over and over. And by doing that, like even though here, for example, this is one where I should have added this right here and I'll add it and I'll write it again. London session lows stopped out. Even if I write it different, differently, um, whatever the case may be, uh, that's okay. I just, as long as I write it down and <clears throat> I'm able to make the notes and then come back into the my Google Keep, copy it, and paste it onto that. And like I said, so anyways, the reason why I do this is because, to my understanding, our brain is so powerful that we will retain that information so that next time we see it, we will be able to hone it and recognize it, right? And it's, it's all about uh, that pseudo experience that ICT talks about. And it definitely, um, I mean, definitely it works. It's not something that you're just going to, um, that you're going to be conscious about it. It's going to be where, a uh, subconscious thing where you'll, you, you'll know that you've seen it before, even though you didn't really, you know, let's say you just, you didn't really take that trade, right? And it's just, uh. I mean, I don't know. Unfortunately, I can't. I'm, I'm not doing a very good job at, at explaining it. At explaining it, so I'm just gonna stop. However, I did wanted to show you my process on how I do this, right? And so let me just keep going here. It's an FVG as well, right there. This was uh, my brown area here is actually a New York session uh, closing, and I actually used to write that. Not anymore. This is New York session I used to do this a lot previously when I first started with uh, learning ICT just because I needed to remember what are the time zones for this right and then this is a New York PM session I needed to remember right and that's the thing about trading that when you're beginning you need to remember a lot of things and so if you just keep writing it down over and over and over, taking the notes over and over and over in every single time frame, um, then it's easy just to remember. Um, but anyway, so for those of you that are curious, I, I am using NinjaTrader. Um, I know some of you may not like this or, you know, just due to the data. I understand there's a bit of, of, of a lag here and there. Um, I haven't really experienced too much, uh, too much, uh, you know, too much issues with Ninja Trader. I've used it for so long that this just, I mean, I pretty much own a license to it and uh, and that's what I use. And uh, I, I don't mind using it. <clears throat> there is a bit of a hiccup where I have to like reload data, uh, reload historical data at least every, you know, maybe 30 minutes to an hour depending if the charts look a little wonky or something. I, at this point, I, I do it. It's a very subconscious thing that I know. Um, but yeah, uh, for those of you that are wondering, so that this is, uh, yeah, this is NinjaTrader, and obviously you have access to TradingView. You don't have to use NinjaTrader. <coughs> TradingView is just as easy to use. And uh, yeah. So in a nutshell, this is pretty much what I do. And so once I go and copy every single image into Keep, I pretty much just go over it myself, and I have my notes here, right? Because... This is, this is why it's very important to write it down over and over and over because every single chart that you're looking at, you know, it's it's, it's obviously going to look different, number one. And then number two, you're going to retain this information once more again. And although you may not always take those trades, like for example, here, this trade, I at this point, New York PM session, I'm obviously not in my charts. I'm not trading at that point. 
but it's interesting to just look at them, be able to see market delivery um, in action. And so I'll write it down because that's what it is, right? That's price um, happening. And so it's, it's freaking awesome just to be able to see that. <clears throat> and there's, a, there's actually a move right here on the 15 minute. If I go over here, if I, and this is the thing, right? This is another thing too. If I need to go back in here and rewrite, or excuse me, re-add the info, then I will delete the image that I had, and then, you know, just do it again. Um, copy and paste it again. So that's not, and then this is another FVG right there. That's, this is the fair value gap that happened uh, during New York session. Um, and there you go, right? Bias was to the upside. And then here's where we took out a little short term. We'll make it lower like that. We took that out during the New York session, New York PM session. Took that out, stops out, rallied, fair value gap right there. Trade uh, to buy it. And boom, you can see the the rest happening there so that looked a lot better than in the five minute right and so you know <clears throat> it, it once again right it's all about retaining the information it's it's just so much info and so you're gonna be you're gonna have to be doing this for a lot of times and you can see here I have a lot of uh, ICT ICT um, stuff uh, this is the most recent that I've just kept up with um, and I'm just adding it every single time to my to uh to my repertoire this is this is something i do on a daily basis and you have to keep doing it okay and then down here obviously you add notes you know what what did i learn i like to add what did i learn also another important one, important one is what is bias for the day and obviously bias was up right the market wanted to head higher so you can you know we can write that a little bit more uh, specific right <clears throat> and and that's it so that's pretty much how I do it it's every single day for every single pair that you follow okay so once again it's every single day thing if you're watching it you know write it down and, <clears throat> and for every absolutely every single pair that you follow right so for me I Late, just recently, I, I want to get into futures because obviously I, I only I've only been trading, especially for the challenge. I've only been trading uh, forex, and my only charts are pound dollar, dollar cap, and the euro dollar. And so, um, just recently, I've been watching uh, Nasdaq and the uh, E mini E mini S and P uh, futures contract. And so, this is what I got from today. And then if I go in here, let me see if I can pull. Yeah, so I'm going to be doing the same thing as how I did for NQ. I'll be doing the same thing for SMP. This is the uh, E-mini uh, <clears throat> futures contract. And so, you know, you can see I already have my annotations here. And so I either, I mean, that's the thing, right? I either do it in here or I do it on, on my screenshot editor. Um, Whichever one, obviously, you guys can choose. It's, it's okay. As long as you write down the info and, you know, you transfer it over to where you can go back and see exactly what happened for that particular day. And the question is, right, the next question is, do you really go back and see? And the, the answer is yes, you have to. You know, and then another thing you could do is don't just take the smaller time frame. Um, make sure you also take the daily time frame as well, what happened. What did that day look like? And obviously, you'll definitely want to have the weekly time frame as well. Okay, that way you can see, you know, if there's some similarities. Um, what was the weekly doing? Did it look like it was bullish? Did it look bearish? Because these things are gonna occur again, right? And you know, you can see that for uh, for NQ, it was a Monday. There was no news. The big move that happened was during after uh, stock market open, right? That was right there. And then where we rallied 
and it looked like there was a fair value gap this could have been a possible trade right that you would have taken if you're brand new for me i don't like taking um i don't like taking these type of trades to be honest where it's just one one block here like i understand that we took this out right there right there that would uh you know signal a buy but I'm, i don't like when these moves are are shallow in this sort of way i like to make sure that the market takes out a level here you know kind of like it did here and then we come straight right back up in the five minute this is a higher high so that is a change in direction in the market but what i mean that this is very shallow here it, this is how it looked like right so for me this is just too shallow of a retracement back up and so i don't like doing anything there i like to see this more of a separation and so this is where that setup the ict shares you know <clears throat> it has a lot better separation and so you can see that happening here obviously the buy is right there and then you know fair value gap is between from here to there you know something like that right Ho hopefully that makes sense it's just I, I've I've, uh, I've seen this a lot and I've seen these type of things failing like even though this was a fair value value gap you know for the neophyte as uh, ICT mentions um, <laughs> you you take that trade and then be scared <clears throat> to to do it again here right but you know obviously going through uh, and learning ICT concepts and seeing this type of pattern happen over and over and over again. It, this is just part of my route. Even if this would have actually been a winner, I'm, I'm just not going to do it, right? And especially in Forex, I'm not, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to wait for a separation, a better separation to happen, just like right here. Created a, this was a new low. It stopped people out. There's a new high. Another new high was right here too, right? But we didn't get there because we had double tops up here. And you can see the market you know shot straight back straight up here came into the fair value gap right textbook and target up here so that's how you do it but anyways i went a little bit over here or more like a lot over <laughs> and uh yeah i just wanted to uh create the video because i know i i had had a few people asking how is it that i, I use google keep because i mentioned it in one of my videos and so anyways, this, this is pretty much how, how I do it. So hope this helps, guys. Um, I went a little bit more into, into detail about it. And, uh, you know, stay humble, stay disciplined, and uh, 